Hey, hey team, this is Mr. Herwick. We're gonna get active, but first, let's talk about the FIT principle. FIT is an acronym that stands for Frequency, Intensity, Time, and Type. Frequency means how often you perform health-enhancing physical activity each week. Teens should be active every day. The minimum frequency for teens is five days per week. I stands for intensity. Intensity means how hard you exercise when you're physically active. The range of intensity goes from moderate to vigorous. Heart rate monitors are a good way to measure this intensity. A person should work towards sweat, trophy, inducing physical activity three to five times per week. T stands for time. Time refers to the length of a given bout of physical activity. Activity time can be accumulated throughout the day. However, teens should be physically active for 60 minutes per day, at least five times per week. And the second T stands for type. Type refers to the specific activities that a person chooses to enhance health-related fitness components. It's important that individuals choose activity types that improve or maintain muscular fitness, cardiorespiratory endurance, flexibility, and body composition. Activities can also be selected for personal enjoyment, expression, as well as stress management. Today, we're going to do a Tabata called One and Done from OpenPhysEd.org. You can find this activity under the Active Home tab under the title Two Week Fitness Slash SEL Journal. Tabatas were actually formed in Japan, and the idea is that we work for 20 seconds and we rest for 10 seconds. Before we start the Tabata, let's go over some of the movements and proper technique. The first movement we're going to do is a jumping jack. We make an X and an I, X and an I, X, I, X, I. The next movement is a lunge. When we do a lunge, make sure you are nice and tall from your shoulders to your hips. And when we step forward, make sure you have a right angle with your leg. If you don't make it all the way down to the ground with your knee, that's okay. Just keep moving. The next movement is a plank. We're going to do a bent arm plank, but make sure that your shoulder is over your wrist so that you have a nice flat position. We're going to grab our invisible jump rope and we're either going to try single unders or we could do double unders. For double unders, move your wrist twice and try to jump over the rope twice. Now we're going to do air squats. Make sure your shoulders are over your ankles. Make sure the weight is in your heels. Make sure your knees point out when you do an air squat. We block out the sun, which keeps our chest up. Try to go all the way down if you can. And if you can't, go as far as you can. The next movement we're going to do is leg raises in a plank position. If you really want to try to go for that top intensity, try to point your toes and keep your back nice and flat. The next movement we're going to do is we're going to jog in place and as we do, we're going to bring our knees high. So this is jogging knee raises. Move your arms to keep that momentum going. The next movement we're going to do are arm raises in a plank position. Again, remember making sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and try to Reach out with your arm nice and straight, keeping your back nice and flat. All right, we've gone over the frequency, intensity, time, and type fit principle. It's time to make our way to the 10 second countdown for our Tabata. Remember, you got this, do your best. Here we go. Starting session. Rest. Rest.
rest. Rest. Rest. Rest. Rest. Session complete.